1983 Mercedes-Benz 380 SEC W126 C126 Yeah, I'm back Gold Element Auto Works I got her Eurospec Did I mention that? I think I forgot to mention the most important aspect of this find It is a Eurospec Imported from France Yep I'm the third owner the second owner bought it from a, a steak sale. And I bought it from them. They had it for about a year. Yep, Eurospec, 380 SEC. This thing is so nice. It is so clean, original paint. Everything is original other than the wheels. But I had the original wheels. These are nice OZ Italian wheels that are on here. Kind of like a BBS style uh, wheel, honeycomb style wheel. And it compliments the car, but I don't know. I might put the original wheels back on here, or I might just go aftermarket with a 17 or an 18 inch wheel. Either way, this car is phenomenal. Yeah, it's original, original paint. And the paint looks darn good. A few flaws which are expected. But this car has been kept very well Indoors, it was only outside from the second owners. They lived out on the farm somewhere, and uh, I'm not gonna tell you what state, but you can tell because of the license plate. It came from Kentucky. Their original owners had to go through the paperwork. I can't remember where they got it from. But yeah, imported from France. This thing is gorgeous, man. A beautiful, unique color. It's like a silver uh, blue. And it's crazy because the actual color uh, let me see. It has the touch-up paint, the original touch-up paint that came with the car. So let me show you the inside of this beautiful thing. So it has the original mats, but I took those out. And I put these dirty Mercedes mats because they haven't been cleaned yet, so they're dirty. I mean, just like everything black and rubber inside of here. But I'll take care of that. has the ABS light on that comes on when you press the brakes so I need some brake pads the leather looks excellent has a little tear in the piping right here but this right here can be fixed I think this can be fixed leather looks very thick and supple I love your spec Plus, the convenience for customers makes curbside competitive with traditionally... I took the tent off. If you look at my first video that I took, it had tent. I took that tent off. This car is too pretty to have that old tent on there. That tent turned like a bluish hue. Didn't need that. You see back here, this needs some attention. The leather back there is stiffened up and torn back. Uh, it's firm. If I can find a way to soften that up and restitch it, I will. This right here needs to be redone. That felt or whatever material that is, it always, it's like a velvet or something that always goes bad on these cars. Um, the tent kind of hid that, but now I see it. It has a little bit of an exhaust leak. There's a little hole somewhere in there that I gotta find. So a little bit of an exhaust leak might be uh, a connection point where the donut is or something. So we'll see. But look at those small bumpers. That's all Euro. Look at that nose. Nothing is better than the Euro bumpers. Oh, that's sexy. I think that compliments the car perfectly. That's what this car needs. This car isn't going anywhere. The radio works, the AC even works. It's not ice cold, but it's cold. They put a new compressor in there. I had the paperwork, I saw that. The radio actually works. The antenna goes up and down. The seatbelt retractors or extenders actually work. This is a great car. I'm happy. I'm very happy. Very happy. Very happy. So I got a good find. I got a good find. I would pop the hood, but I can't do it with one hand. So I'm happy. All the windows work. I won't roll them down right now because I took the tin off and it still has the adhesive on there. So I have to remove that stuff. I don't want it to start, you know, getting sticky and mess up or anything. But sunroof works, everything works as it should. Um, I gotta put some lights inside that dash, but that's a common problem. Those little uh, halogen bulbs go out, they burn out. So 
so I'll put LEDs in there. Like I said, I have the original wheels. I might go back to those or I might go aftermarket or I might keep these, I don't know. Um, these are pretty hard to clean. You gotta get all up in there and clean them. So it takes a little bit of work, a little bit of effort. But all in all, man, this is a very good car. It has 110,000 miles on it. Yep. Drives good. Like I said, the radio works. AC blows cool. Almost cold. Almost ice cold. It's cold, but not ice cold. So um, I think it still has the original um, uh, type of Freon, though. So I figured that part out. But yeah, good car, guys. Good find. You know I got a good price on this. I buy steals, not deals. So you know I hit a lick. So I'm very happy. Appreciate the previous owners. They really took care of me on this one. All right, everybody. Until next time, I'll be in touch. Peace out.